welcome back to the harmonica barge today i've got five awesome rhythms which you can use for any straight music straight music music with a straight feel so we're thinking like country blues country music bluegrass but really you can use these rhythms for all kinds of applications okay let's just get straight into it so the first rhythm the train okay so we're doing two chords in two chords out i'm simply using holes one two three if you get a bit of four in that's fine but make sure you get hole one in there that's really important okay everyone knows this rhythm it might be the first rhythm you ever learnt on the harmonica and it is one of those things teachers use as a first lesson it's great just to get people involved in the instrument but also don't overlook this because it's a really cool useful rhythm you can use for all kinds of songs if you want to make it a bit less tiring when you're breathing Maybe go for a k or a g sound, like k or g. When you do that, it keeps it resonant. So you could use a t, which gets a very sharp kind of particular articulation. But if you want a more resonant flowing sound, particularly if you're playing behind other musicians, maybe the k or the g. can give a nice resonant sound and you can use that in a groove so that's the train okay and moving on to number two we're going to play what's become known as the country blues rhythm uh, I think maybe Sonny Terry really started to get this rhythm and it became so popular but here it is but if we do it with the cur and really try and soften the articulation almost like a gur but quite faint and it becomes smoother so you might want that sort of smoother sound so again just using holes one two three and obviously it's a g chord when you breathe in a c chord when you breathe out and it's important with these rhythms i'm kind of using these very much in a vampy sort of ways and you play these anywhere over the music okay so of course there's loads of stuff you can do when if you want to change chords although we only have two full chords on the harmonica well three if you include a minor chord um, there's other things you can do with tom blocking of course for chords but we're just using these in a rhythmic sense to play anywhere over the music cool to be able to change chord over the progression if you want to do that but you'll hear loads of harmonica players just playing these rhythms behind it's almost like you're thinking like a rhythm player and you're comping with what else is going on in the music so we're not too worried about the harmony and the melody uh, we're trying to go for a more rhythmic approach so number three would be the country blues variation and this is simply we take the country blues but we turn that out breath into a double so we get this and actually you know these in some ways are fairly simple but sometimes people can struggle to just get this breathing and get it flowing at first and you want to try and utilize this out breath when you do that out breath be conscious that you are letting air out and you will carry on uh, being able to breathe and you're not going to burst so there is some out going on i heard a harmonica teacher talk about it almost as if there's a there's a gauge an air gauge and you're going from full to empty so that's all filling up but then i empty so the gauge is moving 
It's like I'm not going to totally burst. Number four is what I call the chicken rhythm. Okay, so you've got this. I guess if you play it pretty fast, that's where the chicken comes in. Kind of chicken-ish. <laughs> so we've got four rapid notes, 16th notes as we call them. And then a two. Now listen carefully to the rhythm. This one, it's where the articulation becomes particularly effective because if you're trying to do those four chords fast, you can do it through breathing from the diaphragm, but it's quite tough to get them out. You can sort of do it in your throat, but if we bring the artic articulation in, and I'm going to go chuk 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 like chicken, chuk 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 just to add to this you can do a variation which lets you breathe and carry it on instead of going I can do the last one as an out okay This one's really cool with fast bluegrass. Okay, that's not too fast. tin is uh, the best 79 pence that you can ever spend. Uh, make sure you take out the contents first. So that's the chicken rhythm and the variation. And moving on to number five and this one is actually a two bar rhythm so it's twice the length and I'm calling this the funky country rhythm. So you hear a lot of these uh, in bluegrass recordings Check out uh, the Nitty Gritty Dirt Band, if you never heard them. Great harmonica player uh, by the name of Jimmy Fadden. He played a lot of this kind of rhythmic stuff. And I think he was partially what inspired this. So I'm going to go, here's the first part. And then we have the next bar. is sort of like a reverse train, half a bar. I go... And finishing off, so to put that all together, okay, that's quite a lot of breathing in. Once again, when you breathe out, really trying to expel the air out as much as possible. Let's try that one. Yeah, so that's a really fun rhythm. And with all these rhythms, I think it's really important Try changing the articulation. There's no rules about this kind of stuff. You can play it more open and resonant and big. Or tight and small. maybe start a nice slow comfortable speed and try and establish a strong sense of pulse you could use a metronome of course backing tracks like this one I'm using I think are really cool because you're not only working on your 
groove and your timing, but you're also working on your feel. And that's much harder to do with a metronome. Uh, so playing along with backing tracks is really super useful. Okay, so that's my five awesome rhythm grooves. Hope you've enjoyed that. I'll be back with another video very soon. So until then, take care. Bye. Thank you.